we all are going to watch our heads. We are going to go in there. This is the part of the fort where they sent African men who always fought. There we go. With oh, all they've got, go. by any means necessary, yeah. they wanted to have their freedom. So then they fight. The Europeans will beat them up to become very weak. Put them in shackles and chains, throw them in there without food, water, no light, no air. They stay there until they lose their lives. But then when they pick up the dead bodies, they have to make sure everyone in the dungeon is here at the courtyard to witness the bodies being thrown out. To serve as a deterrent to them that they can't just get up and misbehave just as they did. But then they call them stubborn slaves or recalcitrant slaves. But the question is, were they stubborn? No. They, they were trying to have their own freedom on their own motherland. Yeah. So then calling them freedom fighters is the best. Freedom fighters. Not stubborn slaves. Yes. Freedom fighters. Freedom fighters. So let's come and see how this place looks like. Please, everyone. Let's watch our heads as we enter. Correctly thinking. And unfortunately, I'm going to lock you guys in here for five minutes. You with this, right? If you're about to pass out, I will come in and get you out. I got, I got a medevac out there. I think I'm going to pass this. Well, we have a medevac, so you know you guys are good to go. Okay, we want you to feel it. I'm coming in there, my sister. Hey, I'll be in here with you. The metal bag. That's who needs the metal bag. Too much. Not feeling it. Let me go in here and see where I would get at. Come on in. Come on in. It's too depressing. No, mama. These are these guys. These are in the face. Yeah, hold on. I've been in there. I've been in there. I've been in there. Two decades. All right, so fam, we're going to get everybody in this cell. It's going to be tight in there. Anyone who literally cannot breathe, just let us know so we can let you out. But we're going to lock everybody in for a few minutes. <laughs> That's the only way we can do that you feel a little bit of it. But picture being locked in here for several days. No food, no water, no air. Until they die, you know. So we can, we can, we can, we can survive for five minutes. Yeah. Man, it was amazing, man. As soon as we come from the underground, man, I saw devils, little devils, big devils, middle <laughs> devils. Devils from the west, devils from the east, devils everywhere. And yes, fam, that's the unfortunate thing about being here. You know, it's a world heritage site. So, you know, but uh, when we're here, you know, we let people know, stay out of our way, because we're here to reconnect our ancestors. You gonna be able to make it upstairs? You don't want to go in? No. I thought. You got baby makeup, sir? Um, uh, if you can't breathe out, uh, we just, um, uh, it should be fine out here, especially if you breathe. Yeah, he's. Yeah, lock yeah, the door he doesn't and, need to be. Yeah. Right. Mohammed, well, lock us in, please. Okay, yes, I will. Don't worry. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Oh. My family, lock in. Do anybody feel congested or you can't breathe? Let us know so we can get you out of here. We don't want anybody to pass out. <gasps> Our brother Mohammed, uh, lock the door, please. Okay, so I'm sorry, sorry, sir. I know. So this small space, as I was saying, happens to be the condemned cell. And know that originally it was designed for about 20 people, but they randomly brought people here all the time. But then all the African men that ended up here, it was so dark in here that if you are here, you don't see your own hand in your own face. You don't see the brother beside you. Make it dark. You will hear them talk, but what they say you might not understand because of language barrier. Yes, yes. The next day you end up realizing that it's becoming very quiet around you. You will try to move up and down to see if you can say a word to someone at least, but all the people you move around touch in here and there are dead bodies. <laughs> Until the last one dies here, nobody walks out of here. <laughs> Which means if you are here, you're not dead, your friends are dead with you, you will still stay with the dead bodies until you lose your own life. Then as I said, they pick up the dead bodies, take them out of here and just throw them into the sea. Just to serve as an example to the, all the others that you can't also get up and do the same thing. Yes, these devils are always trying to break our will. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. But, but still we strive and still we survive. <laughs> Alright, so... And still we stay strong. I don't actually want us to stay here for too long. It's very humid, very hot. Yeah. So please let's watch our heads go outside and breathe some fresh air. Watch your head. Uh, 
What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a few, um, we're going to make a few sacrifices. We're going to lock them in these dungeons. Um, let me just find a few of these folks and let them feel some of it. All right. Okay, so at this moment, we are going to head for the female side of the fort, see where the African women were held. And then afterwards, we talk about the door of no return. And then, so we'll make sure we go back to the castle Victoria. Let's go to the side of the whole group. So we won't go back from here.